Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Third Chain here back on Channel 14 for the Channel 14 Let's Play. It's been a very long time since I did the last episode for the Channel 14. It was actually the last trainer we actually purchased here on the base. And we're going to be getting the new one here, the Pumpkin Graveyard Scenery. I've seen a bunch of people using it, and it is very cool looking, so I want to see it on my own base on my Tunnel 14. We're getting pretty close to max, and if you actually head over to the progress base, I'll show what we have left to upgrade on the base. All we really have left is a couple of mortars and a bunch of traps to upgrade to their max level. A bunch of pet upgrades still in here. I did max out my first pet, which is the Unicorn, up to level 10. We have the Yak going to level 8 with around 2 days left there. And if we head over to the walls, we only have around 30 of these guys left to upgrade before. All the available walls we have to upgrade here are completely maxed. And all we gotta wait for is the uh, other walls to get available to upgrade. So we can max out the rest of the walls on the Tunnel 14 to become a completely maxed Tunnel 14 eventually here. But we obviously gotta get these upgrades going because we have five builders available on the base. Before we actually do a couple of upgrades, we're gonna get the new scenery here on the base, getting the pumpkin graveyard scenery, and we'll get this right now. And there we go, we got the new scenery here. We're gonna head over to the town hall. Actually, I'd already brought it up to select the new scenery. So we'll select it here and changing the entirety of the base basically into a new color, a little like a blue greenish uh, color on the base, which is actually very cool looking. I switched over to the base editor to show off the new scenery. We have the waters where the uh, boat actually goes over to the builder base. And we actually have like a ghost ship docked on the side of the little cliff here, which is pretty cool looking. If you head up to the top left, we have a bunch of little sh shacks with some cauldrons inside of it, kind of like the uh, scenery or the uh, obstacle we have around the base. This one here, we have that one, the Halloween cauldron that is uh, over here with the other shacks. That looks pretty cool. We obviously have the pumpkin house over at the top right with a waterfall, a green waterfall there. Pretty cool. And down at the bottom right, we have the graveyard with a bunch of fog. Very cool looking there. Tons of pumpkins around the base. That's why it is obviously the pumpkin graveyard scenery. Tons of pumpkins. This is honestly my favorite new uh, scenery on the uh, basically the entirety of the series I have on this account. We have a bunch of them, as you'll see here in the scenery uh, selection here. I basically have every single one on the Tunnel 14, and this one is my new favorite one. I probably have this on uh, year round until a uh, new scenery comes out. But heading back over to the progress base, we're gonna actually do a couple of upgrades. We have 17.5 million gold. So we're gonna actually upgrade one of these mortars up to max level. One more left after this one here, 14 million gold in a 14 day time for that one there. We have 3.5 million gold left on the base. And we're gonna have to do a couple of attacks to uh, actually use a rune of elixir or gold to get the other one up. Unless we could just use it right now, uh, we're going to waste a little bit, but we're just going to use the Ruin of Gold we have already selected here. And we'll use that there, filling up the gold storages here. And we'll upgrade the other mortar up to max level as well. Finishing all the defenses on our Tunnel 14, another 14 million gold in another 14 days there. Not too bad. Both mortars now max will move these guys over to the max side of the base. And we'll upgrade a couple more things. We have the pet house here with the pet still working and upgrading there. We're actually going to actually gem this yak up to level 8 for 378 gems. And we're going to upgrade the yak once again up to level 9 using 220,000 dark elixir in a 6 day time there. We are going to actually use a book of heroes we got from the season pass and actually unlocking the warden master skin on the uh, gold pass here as well. We're we'll actually head over to that real quick. Tons of stuff to do on the base. We're going to change that here. Actually, we have it on random, so we're just going to let that go and select that new warden skin, and we'll uh, cycle through all of these warden skins there. But heading back over to the pet house, we're going to actually use the book of heroes on this pet to get that to level 9. And now we could actually use a rune of dark elixir, but we have 70,000 on the base, so we're not going to do that here. We're probably just going to get a bunch more dark elixir 
from the farming attacks we're going to be doing off camera and on camera for a couple of attacks in today's video using the mass royal ghost attack strategy i've seen a ton of people using this at tunnel 14 so i want to use it myself so we're gonna head out for one or two attacks using this army and get make our way up to completing the royal ghost event inside of the event tab i've already done two attacks so we have 18 more attacks to go before we finish that so let's head out for a couple of raids getting more loot on the base and we found a tunnel 14 with the pumpkin graveyard scenery here as well this is looking pretty cool attacking a different colored uh, base here uh, we're gonna see if we can get most of the loot we're gonna start off by taking down the uh, outside of buildings around the outside of the via the base basically because this is one whole compartment so we'll take down all of these using a bunch of the Royal Ghosts and we'll see where we are in terms of taking down the defenses. Basically just taking down all the outside defenses and all that's really left is the Inferno Towers and the uh, Expos and all the stuff. High targeting defenses inside the core of the base. Taking down the Dark Elixir towards the right side. And now we have to pick a side where we want to drop our heroes in and take down a portion of the base. Probably going to drop them at the top left reason for that is because of the King Warden and the Scudder shot there. So we're going to try to make our way towards the bottom and take down one of these Inferno Towers and probably even take down the Eagle at the very top of the base as well. And it looks like these war the uh, Ghost will head in. We have one here taking down the uh, Inferno Tower but it actually gets obliterated by the couple of defenses there. These guys should be able to take it in and uh, take it down pretty quickly there. We'll drop the king at the top left with the log launcher once again. Dropping the king or the queen and the warden there. Royal Ghost heading for a couple of more there. And we'll probably drop the warden ability here at some point to get these guys into the core of the base. That log launcher will break in using those logs. And we'll use the king's ability here in a couple of seconds once the warden or the, uh, the eagle shots go down there. We're going to freeze the Town Hall and the Queen, and we'll drop a couple more Royal Ghosts on the left side of the base. We have the Royal Champ still to use. We're going to have to use it on the right side to take down the other side of the base. We have the Queen still up. Going to use her ability to take down the Town Hall. We have the Bat Spell still left as well. One minute left in the raid. It looks like we are going to use the Invisibility on the Royal Champ, using her ability there, taking down the expo and hopefully taking down the enemy queen here or should actually head over towards the scatter shot taking it down in one shot i'll really have left is a couple of defenses on the left side the road ghost at the top and the right side will just drop the uh, bat spells on the uh, expo and stuff there dropping the rest of the row ghost to head into the base we're going to freeze the queen here once the uh, get over towards the expo and we'll hopefully take down the last little bit of the buildings. Gonna basically hopefully get this three star. 20 seconds left in the raid. All these bats hopefully can take down the last little bit of the buildings. We'll use the freeze on the queen to slow her down here. Nine, eight seconds left. We'll take down the queen. Five seconds left. Take down the clan castle and the builder hut for two seconds left in the raid. A very good attack there for around a million, over a million elixir on that one there, and almost a million gold as well. We'll head back to the base. I just started a boost, and we also got a star bonus there, pretty good. We have uh, around an hour left, 15 minutes left to be exact, in this boost. So I wanna do a little bit of attacking, and hopefully be able to upgrade a couple more walls using the elixir, and get enough dark elixir to upgrade something inside the pet house. And we're back, and it's been about an hour since I did that last boost. We have around 10 minutes left in the boost. And we actually filled up our elixir storages and almost filling up our gold storages as well. I think we started off the boost with around 6 million gold. So if almost farming 10 million in an hour, which is pretty good. We're going to head over and upgrade this wall for uh, 5.6 million there. Not too bad. And then we have two rows left for a total of 28 walls left on the Town Hall 9. We have a couple of builders that I want to get going for the rest of the video. It is this air bomb up to level seven to pair it up with the other ones. And I actually have two more levels for these ones as well. So three more levels for this air bomb here and two more for the other one, a 3.2 million gold upgrade and an almost five day time for this one here. 
getting that going. And one more upgrade is going to be a giant bomb up to level 6. They are all at the same level. So a 5.6 million gold upgrade for this one in a 7 day time for here. So we just have to basically just continuously upgrade the traps until all of these are maxed out. And hopefully we don't add uh, any more new things to upgrade in terms of defenses. But I don't really think there are any more uh, other than the air sweepers, which I don't think had an upgrade until uh, Town Hall 11. So they might get an upgrade at some point, but other than that, it is just the traps. And now we have to get the uh, pet going inside of the pet house. We just need around 20,000 to get something going inside of here. We'll head over to the uh, treasury there, uh, 150,000. And we need 14,000 more Dark Elixir to get something going inside of there. We'll see if there's something inside of here in terms of Dark Elixir, but I don't really think so. No, so we're going to go and do a couple more attacks, getting some more Dark Elixir. It shouldn't actually take too long. The Mass Rogue Ghosts are a very good army to use for basically any town hall level, getting tons of loot from the dead bases as you see here in the attack log. Tons and tons of loot. But yeah, we're going to come back and upgrade the Lassie in the Pet House once we have enough Dark Elixir. And we now have enough Dark Elixir to upgrade the final thing on the base for the day, which is the Lassie up to level 8. 164,000 Dark Elixir in a day and a half time for this final upgrade of the day. And there we go. We are almost done with the pets, maxing out all of the four of them on the Tunnel 14. We have one builder left to uh, basically get going on the base, but I want to finish the rest of the walls. So we're going to let that sit until we have all these walls done and I can add the builder on to the rest of the traps to finish those off to max out Tunnel 14. But that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did want to see some more Tunnel 14 or any other Clash of Clans content on the channel, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.